pain and suffering. Many, you know, many people, including great philosophers like the Stoics and, you know, significant people in history like Winston Churchill, argue that it is essential uh, part in life. As without, you know, pain and suffering, you won't be able to reach true fulfillment and reach and experience true happiness. Which, you know, obviously makes sense, right? If there's no pain, there's no pleasure. If there's no sadness, there's no happiness, right? If there's no hardships, there's no reward, if you're not saying. But uh, many people in this day and age still decide to, like, obviously avoid these, you know, hard and tough actions. They go with the easy option and they go with the hedonistic lifestyle you know we float through life you know avoiding all suffering you know choosing this choosing that you know instead of going for like a flipping gym workout you know i'll i'll stay in bed today instead of waking up and going to down do some push-ups because uh, you know right right in the script in this video in bed is actually more productive Shut your scream, you know than me going and hitting a disgusting workout the 29th of january I broke my ankle. At first, I didn't think of it, you know, as anything major. The doctor said, you know, six weeks maximum. You know, as long as you take paracetamol and I pull for enough to kill a six-week newborn, you know, and I'll be fine. I didn't take the paracetamol. <laughs> it's been three months now and, you know, the first month of me being in this, you know, state, and I thought of being in this injury and going through this injury, I thought I was going to be really, really productive. You know, I get to, I get to, get to miss school and Sigma, Sigma grind set and fucking all this bullshit and, and make 20 YouTube videos a day and hit the nastiest workouts and read 50 books and 50 podcasts and all this bullshit. I don't have to go to school and do any of the school bullshit work. Um, I ended up becoming Platt on Overwatch. <laughs> And I, um, I regained a borderline criminal obsession of, um, should I, should I actually say this? You know what, fuck it. Like, hardcore hentai. Like, the, like the, the ones you imagine, like, no normal beings should watch, but you end up watching. Sniper? <laughs> bro, we need a sniper for hey, bro, this. Is it's World War 1 Mate, World War 1 and we're already at war again, bro. I know this guy's bandana on, Jamal's got his Rambo trim. Yeah. We're fucking not pissing You're around. Ballet, bro. Type, type shit. <laughs> and, and, you know, um, obviously I, I can't really go outside because my ankle. So I'm not really getting the sun, I'm not getting the fresh air. I'm literally, in, in, I'm literally inside my house. Like, I'm, I'm housebound. You know, my muscles are slowly flipping, fading away every second of my existence. I like, look, this used to be a little bit bigger, you fool. So I know I'm not that big, I'm like, I'm detraining for like three to four months. It, it, it gets to you, nice, it gets to you. They're like, oh, I worked so hard the past year and hard the past two, three years. Fucking, you know, going to the gym, pumping straight iron, hitting, hitting heavy squats, fucking nearly dying, hard, so coming out of the gym, fucking unable to walk, doing the, do the stanky leg, oh, do the stanky leg, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And now all of that's just going away. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> and you know, when I, when I go to sleep, I have to sleep with this like big ass flipping like boot and it's just so fucking uncomfortable and it's just... You know, losing a ridiculous amount of my social connections. Though, I did have obviously my real ones reach out to me, you know, my fellow brethren asking me, you know, what do I do and this and that, which obviously shout out to you, man. I know who the real ones are. And then when I did eventually go back to school, which let me make it clear, is is bullshit. They they tell me I need to go do revision and and and, and get the expert training from teachers. Even though you could do revision at home and all though. Um, I injured my ankle again. <laughs> it's a poor management. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. So at that point I realised it might be a bit more than six weeks. <laughs> Little did I know. <laughs> you know, when I go to school and people fucking laughing at me and shit. Which, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not like they're actually like fucking like praying on my downfall and shit. But it's, it's still... 
and I thought I was, you know, the Sigma mindset, but like, it did get to me, you know, people laughing at me and shit, and, I, and me being, you know, those fucking slowpoke walking, you know, across the hallway and fucking, the horde of fucking 50 year sevens behind me, just like, oh, it's, it, you know what I'm saying? I was at this point just floating through life. Like I was I was down in the dumps. I had no purpose, no drive. You know, I was doing I was doing the good habits, right? I, I still try to meditate, I still try and get some knee push ups, some you know, ab crunches and shit. You know, and but I was nowhere as consistent as I was, you know, pre injury. <clears throat> you know, I flipping you know, it was just, it was just, yeah, no purpose, and you know, when I sit there and contemplate things, I'm there like, yo, you know, when I, when I, when I recover, I'm, I'm gonna get back in the gym, I'm gonna get big and shit, I'm gonna know how to, me, 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 and then I'm gonna go, fuck up these people that laughed at me, type shit, but then, you know, I remembered about four things, so, I've been through the arc and I, I ain't got no enemies anymore. I am free from any anger and slash resentment. At least I think so. <laughs> and you know, obviously during this time when I'm contemplating and when I am, you know, reflecting on just my life and basically everything, you, you go through some existential shit, but when you're just by yourself and you're there in your room, you're just looking at the scene like this. You think you think about some shit come to your head. You ain't you ain't think you thinking about, but now you thinking about it. You feel what I'm saying? You know, I became more grounded due to the realization that I am now incapable of a man. You know, my ego just neom. My test just neom. Do you get? It? I had to shower, literally sitting down. Do you get? It? Stairs were my biggest enemy, but I like, look at that shit. I'd be scared. I'm like, oh fuck! If I fuck up one time. I'm dead. <laughs> I had to rely on my mum to do the teeniest, tiniest, most simple like things like getting my help him just bringing me like water and shit up and down the stairs and it's just it actually made me like extremely grateful. You know, I had an epiphany, I'm just there, like I am so grateful that I was born as a normal individual. I have all my limbs. Granted, I can't use one of them, or like use a section of them right now. Grand, yes, of course, but you know, you go through life and you just take these things for granted. There are people out there born without these things, born without the ability to experience the things that I have. And and and, and it's deep. Trust it. Actually, it actually, you actually you actually do deeper to an extent. It's like, damn, I'm actually an ungrateful piece of shit. So what I'm actually trying to say here, accept pain and suffering as components of your life. You know, I was reading this book and it says like the greatest improvements and the greatest lessons in life are actually packaged um, inside the toughest and the hardest moments. And if you solve these hardships and if you solve these problems, this is where you get the biggest rewards and the more problems and the more hardships you challenge yourself to, to face and solve, the more rewards and more gifts you're going to get. I know, right? And it's like, you're going to eventually have to solve these issues and problems anyways. Pain and suffering, whether you like it or not, is going to occur in your life. It might come at a time when you're not ready. It might come at a time when you're ready. It's like the final... Yo... Insert the finals quote, bro. 